Tony, lovely to see you as always. I mean, a great night to have the Players' Awards after what happened on Saturday. But before we reflect on that, it has been another amazing season in the top flight for both our men's and women's teams. How much have you enjoyed it? Well, it's been one of the best seasons um, that I can remember. I mean, the, um, for both teams. I mean, the women seem to be mid-table again. You know, with such competitions, it's been superb. And uh, we, we, we hope that this will be a record season in our 121 years to be, um, which is in 1982 uh, when we finished uh, 13th. So two more games to go and really looking forward to it. So big congratulations to both teams. Yeah, well said. And also we've had the fans back in the stadiums this year. How good has it been to see them back? Well, I think we all know that, you know, football with fans is nothing and we're delighted to have the fans back and um, it's taken a while to get uh, the atmosphere going because, you know, the, a lot of the, uh, some of the fans were still a bit nervous early season, mid-season with COVID. But I think we saw um, on Saturday how brilliant our fans really are. You know, we had a, a huge number there. They supported the team from the first minute to the last and, um, you know, it was just an amazing experience and congratulations to Graham and the players on an absolutely fabulous performance and a 4 0 win against Manchester United. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, speaking of Saturday, we saw you celebrating at the final whistle. We know you are one of all of us as one of the fans of this club, Tony. That has got to be up there as one of the best nights you've experienced at the Amex, right? Yeah, I absolutely loved it. We had a yeah, had a lot of uh, visitors had relatives from abroad as well for that game. Uh, you know, everyone picked that one game, and Graham and the players really performed. And it was like it, it was an amazing. Certainly one of one of the all time great games of this football club. I'm very proud of them. Yeah, it's been amazing. Absolutely brilliant. Well, Mr. Chairman, we just before we let you go, can we ask you to do one more thing? You are going to present uh, your Chairman's Award for the year, and the Chairman's Award recognises a member of staff who's gone truly. Uh, uh, beyond and above and encapsulates the uh, amazing football club that they work for. The nominees this year uh, are Tim Dudding, production manager in the media team, Lisa Murray, safety and security coordinator, and Jack Joyce, senior corporate sales executive. Yeah, they all deserve it. And I, and I know, I think uh, the chairman always, you know, deliberates long and hard over this because your staff are always great, but this has been a particularly difficult one for you. And it was a very, very close call. And up until now, we have no idea who won it. So this is the only time this evening we're gonna do an envelope thing. So let's find out. The chairman's award this year goes to Surely some mistake, it's the boss, it's Tim Dudding. Tim Dudding yeah, from, the the from the media team. Nothing's gonna ever keep you down, you're the best. Oh, wow. Nothing's gonna ever keep you down, you're the best. Oh, wow. Nothing's gonna ever keep you down, you're the best. Oh, wow. Nothing's gonna ever keep you down. <laughs> wait, wait, who's running the show now? What's going on? Uh, some lunatic over there <laughs> called Adam. <laughs> Um, so, I'm sure a lot of you know uh, Tim, I know all the players do, 20 years at the club now. Um, can you remember your first, 20 years back, your first association with Brighton and Hove Albion? I can remember my first game, which is Oldham away, uh, with Paul Cam in the car. Uh, I think Bobby Zamora was sent off and kicked the door off the hinges, as far as I can remember. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's been a fabulous 20 years and uh, um, it's, it's been brilliant, to be honest. So, for those of you who don't know, Tim uh, is in charge of the, the media department on match days, all the stuff you see on the screens, all the stupid stuff I have to do and get attacked by Gully. It's all down to him, all the announcements and all these amazing videos that you see on our socials and you'll see tonight, all down to Tim and his team. So, he needs a huge round of applause because something like this at the end of the season really is very taxing. So. From Division Two to the Premier League, and your team has grown and they're doing great work. What would you like to say to them? 
I'd just like to say thank you to everyone, really, including Tony, of course, for the, for the award, but, but actually just for being such a fabulous leader for everyone at the club. I think when you see what's going on at other football clubs around the country all of the time, it just makes you realise how lucky we are to have someone like Tony in charge leading us all. Uh, and that goes for the board of directors as well. Um, I'd also like to thank Paul Camelin for giving me the opportunity all those years ago and the rest of the media lads who work tires, tirelessly all the time up and down the country covering the club for all the fans to enjoy. Uh, and I can't get off this stage without thanking one person in particular and that's Adam Ty, who just keeps me sane throughout everything, all the mayhem. Uh, he's brilliant, so thank you very much. Well done. Tim Duddy and Mr Chairman, off you go and have a photograph taken. Let's go off that way, there we go.